Hey, what's up everyone? Um, on my way to the post office right now, send out some contracts. Uh, I got a call today from a lady who is the power of attorney basically of the homeowner that lost their house. Um, and there's some money left over. And it was really interesting when she called me, she, she responded to one of our letters we sent. And she proceeded to tell me that she has actually been trying to get the funds herself. And, um, but has come basically to a dead end. Um, she keeps getting stonewalled by the attorneys and the trustees and all this crazy stuff. And um, basically she, she's ready, she, she wants some help. She wants some help getting the funds back and she doesn't want to deal with it anymore. And I thought this was interesting because this isn't the first time this has happened um, where somebody calls me and they've already attempted to try to get the funds themselves but have been unsuccessful and and this also leads me to a question I get um, quite often from folks who are trying to learn the business is well why does the homeowner or the claimant need you why can't they just do it themselves and this is when somebody asks me that question, if a potential client asks me that question, well, why can't I just get the money myself? Um, I tell them the truth. And I say, you can absolutely try and do it yourself. Um, you, you don't have to use me if you don't want to. Um, you can try it yourself and you know just make sure that it gets done correctly and you'll just have to be prepared to bear the costs of getting it done. And that's what I tell people. Just tell them the truth. Like, here's the thing, guys. Like, I, at the end of the day, um, if they say no, there's going to be another deal tomorrow or next week or next month that I can work. And so I don't really care if they say no or if they choose to not use me, if they choose to do it themselves, because there's more deals being made every single day. So it doesn't really matter if they choose to do it themselves. And sometimes they're successful doing it themselves. And then there's other times like today um, where they try to do it themselves and it doesn't work out. And so then in that instance, they can always give me a call back and, um, and I can help them out. So um, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was interesting. You know, again, this isn't the first time this has happened. Um, I've had people reach out to me after they've tried and been unsuccessful, and, and then we've helped them out and gotten them results. So um, at the end of the day, have an abundance mindset and be honest with people. Tell them the truth. If they ask you, well, can I, can't I do it myself? Say, absolutely, you can do it yourself. Um, you don't have to use me. You'll just have to pay the costs and make sure it's all done correctly. Um, so yeah, guys, just be honest and have an abundance mentality. And make lots of phone calls. So always be marketing for your leads, okay? Those are my tips for today and getting started in the business. If you want help or need extra guidance, check out my course at www.overagecourse.com. And... Uh, we're there for you to help you out, get started, and start making money in the overages and surplus funds recovery business. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.